Hey guys, well a lot of y'all know I used the GoPro Hero 4 for a few of my pistol matches and um, I just don't like, uh, I love the GoPro's uh, the quality, uh, but I don't like the way it feels, I don't like just, it's, it is kind of a heavy thing hanging right there. Um, anyway, I've been looking for uh, a, another alternative and uh, my buddy, uh, the humble, humble Marchman, uh, told me to give this a try. I think he's trying one as well. He's trying some other things. Shout out to him. But this is the Mobius 2 action cam. And I'm going to insert some footage right here. that is shot at 30 frames per second. Now that was just me handling some guns to see kind of how the camera um, uh, does as far as the angle and whatnot. When you, uh, this was 90 bucks on eBay. When you get the camera, it's in there, a nice little foam pouch there. And it comes with a few accessories little card reader thing, an extra lens cap, some Velcro, and, and a little remote cable. Apparently these cameras are real popular for RC enthusiasts, remote control. It also comes with this cord here, which is a uh, data transfer and a charging cord. But what I did was um, I mounted it to this hat using a half inch long quarter 20 thread uh, screw and some rubber washers and it's a very very solid mount. I mean when you compress that rubber it really keeps it from moving. Uh, the camera, let's pop this lens off here real quick, uh, the camera uh, lens there on the front and the um, microphone is right there under that sticker. Uh, the thing about it is it's not like waterproof or bomb proof like the GoPros are. You know I think GoPros are great when you want to set it up next to a Tannerite explosion. But uh, I'm really looking forward. This thing is very lightweight. Uh, you can turn it on. It's actually got um, three modes. The first mode, um, there it comes on, and yellow is for 30 frames per second, which you just saw. The next mode, and I'll go ahead and put this footage in right here. That was just me walking around in the yard. That's at 60 frames per second. And if you push this button again, it goes to picture mode, which if you just push that button, it uh, just takes a picture. So go back to the original. I was pretty impressed with the 30 frames per second. Uh, hold down the power button, and uh, then it goes off. But anyway, um, so that's what I'm going to be filming my, uh, you know, the upcoming three-gun thing, as well as... Um, any other point of view type shooting and uh, you know we'll see how the camera holds up and the quality and whatnot you have to go to the website when you get the camera 
Apparently this camera was really a piece of crap when it first came out, but they have updated the software, which you have to go on the website and update the software, and, um, and then it really, I think, makes the camera perform better. Um, the SD card is not included. It will use up to a 32, uh, 32 what, gigabyte, megabyte, whatever that 32 is on there. And um, anything greater than that, and the camera won't work for some reason, not sure why. But it's got the little mini USB port on the back uh, for charging, data transfer, and that sort of thing. So uh, if you have any questions, I mean, I, I don't think I could really answer them. But if you go to the website, they do have a lot of information. They have lots of other cameras. This, to me, looked like to be the most bang for the buck. And um, the... Uh, the lightweightness of it and compactness is really what I was after. So stay tuned, see some POV view of uh, point of view type uh, camera angle. It does have a pretty wide fisheye, which uh, I think some people don't particularly care for, but it is good at making sure you don't miss anything. Like it will really, really pick up your peripherals, and um, you know if you can suffer through that, I think the picture quality is actually pretty good. So there you go, 90 bucks eBay, the Mobius 2. And um, you guys, y'all take care.